Hey guys, it's Leisha. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm in a little bit of a different setup. Um, it's been a long time since I've done a video actually. It feels like it's been months, but I think it's probably been like a month or so um, since I filmed um, a tutorial or any kind of video of some sort on my YouTube channel. And I am actually flying back to Malaysia today um, in like a few hours. So I'm just filming some stuff right now so I can edit these videos on the airplane um when i go to malaysia so it'll give me something to do um during that time and post some content for you guys as well because it's been a while my youtube fam it's been a while so this is a very highly requested video um for a long time coming actually people have been asking me like felicia how'd you get like followers how'd you get kind of like well a little bit well known in this k-pop um, covers community and I'm just gonna give you some tips because I know of quite a few of you who follow me on my Instagram are actually co covers yourself um, so here are some tips on how to get a bigger audience and how to reach more people with your hard work and first and foremost I think the most important thing to realize is that um, quote-unquote um, getting popular isn't the most important thing it's actually about like being happy like doing this because you genuinely love dancing like i started this not knowing how far i would get honestly like yes i wanted some followers but i could not have imagined how far i would have had like 32k 32,000 people following me on instagram is crazy to think about it's still like weird to see that number but but like if your prime goal is to just get followers and not because you actually love dancing then you've come to the wrong place this is not the video for you but you know just enjoy it like i think it really shows if you enjoy dancing and that is so appealing because i think when i see other dancers like i know they love dancing i can tell by the way they dance and stuff like that i'm like wow i will follow them they totally seem like they love this they're so passionate and it really shows their confidence in their dancing as well now let's get to the more technical stuff besides showing passion and all that stuff so number one is hashtags so i know this is a very like okay yeah duh i know that but um there's a lot of hashtags out there and it's important to use the right ones so typically with videos um the hashtags that i do it will be like hashtag kpop hashtag kpop dance cover that's a lot um hashtag kpop dance cover is where most people who are trying to find like new k covers they'll usually use that hashtag to kind of just look around and see like okay maybe this person's like someone i would want to follow um along those lines um so let's say i'm covering bts um i will put hashtag bts i will do hashtag big hit um their company hashtag big hit entertainment um i and then afterwards i will do their song obviously it's always the most important i will always hashtag their song that they're on right now um and then i will also hashtag maybe their album depends um, if they have an album or not and then I will then go ahead and then do the hashtag the members because members um, like like so like it would be like hashtag RM, J-Hope, Jungkook if you guys get the feel of what I'm saying get the gist of what I'm trying to say but those are gonna be really helpful to you because it's important to like get your audience because that's what your audience wants your audience wants to see bts or maybe like your new group of people um want to see bts and so then if they are already following a lot of bts stuff then your post will be uh will more likely show up on their explore page it's important to not over hashtag though because hashtagging too much can get you a shadow ban which means like instagram i don't know what the algorithm is but instagram just kind of like shuts you off from getting new followers um, they don't really show you on the explore page so it's hard to find new followers unless they actually directly come and find you through the search engine so i try to keep it under 25 um uh, i've heard like 30 is the max um but i try to keep it on like 25 range um 20 to 25 range just to be on the safe side it's always better to hashtag too little 
I think, than too much because it's hard to get past that shadow ban. So tip number two is to make mutuals. Um, when I first started my dance account, I was almost like, I'm not gonna follow anyone, I'm not gonna follow any mutuals. Um, not that because like I didn't want to make friends or like I honestly didn't even know how this community worked just because um, I didn't really follow too deeply into the K-Covers community. With like making mutuals is not just like great ways to like find people who are just like you but it's also fun like i'm meeting new friends from around the world and like now that i'm traveling i'm able to meet some of them um globally which is crazy and so much fun like that sounds wow like i have friends in europe i have friends in asia like you name it i can probably find someone but on the technical side mutuals will help because Besides the fact that you guys like are linked together, like people can see, oh, who this K-Covers follows, but it also like, let me just use one of my friends, Noir Pink. She's such, she's so sweet. Make sure you guys go give, give her a follow. But so let's say I'm friends with Noir, Noir Pink, okay? Um, I, which I am, I'm mutuals with her. So um, let's say I have a follower. Um, there's a follower who follows her, but it doesn't follow me. For, I'm not sure how like the Instagram alg algorithm works. Instagram will show posts that is similar to people you follow, right? So with that theory in mind, um, so if a follower follows Joy, okay, that means uh, I am more likely to show up on that follower's explore page because Joy follows me and we do the same kind of content and the Instagram has that kind of algorithm where um, because you know joy follows me it will direct this follower joy's followers to me okay and vice versa so like if one of my followers follows me joy's content is more likely to pop up on my followers explore page so that's kind of how things work besides the fact that you guys are mutuals and great friends but that's like the technical part but definitely don't make mutuals just because of this part i think mutuals the best way like I think the best part of being mutuals is being able to share those like hardships together. So just make really true, genuine friendships. Tip number three is to follow the trends. So like trends meaning, okay, so what song is out now? If it's a comeback. So right now it's May. Um, so NCT just posted, uh, not posted, NCT 127 just came out with a comeback, Superhuman, I think and um that would be a good song to cover right now because that is what is mainstream at the moment um and then blackpink might be still relevant i mean they're always relevant but um blackpink came like came with a comeback last month so they're probably still relevant so like a song that would be outdated would be probably changa's gotta go um your your dushi um, that song is so good and I love that dance, I still do. And I'm not saying not covering it, but I'm just showing you like the trends. It's been quite, a, it's been a few months. So there's gonna be some differences there. Tip number four is to post consistently. I can't tell you how important it is to post consistently. Um, I try to do every few days or so when I can, um, just like sparingly, just so I can, um, you know, keep my followers kind of like anticipating like oh it's about time for her to post a new song or a new cover and i'm w ready to um you know get a new video from her or something along the lines of that because if you like all of a sudden like don't post for a month you're gonna lose a lot of followers but it just sort of shows that you're not very consistent in your dancing like creativity like part of an influencer is posting consistently like i don't think any social media influencer or anybody who has a platform doesn't post regularly unless they're like some super famous people person like maybe an actor or an actress but most social media influencers like k covers are considered social media influencers because that's how we found our beginnings um have to post consistently because that is what has built our brand and built our reputation and last but not least, tip number five is some good camera quality. So when I first started my um, Instagram dance account, I had an iPhone 6. Right now I use an iPhone um, XS Max. 
And so this phone is really great because I know the camera quality is amazing, both front and the back. The back camera is definitely a lot better than the front, but the front is still amazing as well. Good camera quality equals better video quality when you post on Instagram because Instagram definitely has like really, really weird, like it makes your videos become more blurry just because Instagram is trying to keep all their files small and so then all your like, all your files just become a lot smaller and a lot less pixelated lots and you lose that like high definition quality in your videos. So the higher the quality you can get your video to be, the less um, quality it will be taken away when you post your Insta, uh, post your videos on Instagram. Like if you go through my feed, like definitely and my old videos definitely were a lot blurry, more blurry. But the important thing is don't shell out money just to get a good camera. Like if you have it, great, use it. If you don't, then just build off what you have because what I think some people end up spending money before they even get started on something. Like, let's say if you were dreamed to be a YouTuber, but you only have like five subscribers, but you went out and bought a bunch of YouTube gear. That's like, well, not YouTube gear, but like a bunch of YouTube like props, lights and everything when you haven't built your reputation yet is kind of uh, a da very dangerous risk. And, um, you know, just not smart because you don't know if you're going to be successful. Not everyone can be successful. Like if everyone was successful, then what would be famous be, you know? I think it's important to use what you have and then once you're able to build your reputation, then see if you have the chance, the opportunity to get better equipment like I did. So that's just a tip of mine. So that is some of my tips. Hopefully these were really helpful to you. Um, some of them you probably already knew. Hopefully you got at least one thing out of this video. If you did, make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up and comment below which tip you found the most helpful. And if you guys are starting um, a dance account, then you know, feel free to just kind of add each other down in the comments below. And I do have a video of um, how to like begin your dance account. Um, I will link that in the description box below. Hopefully this really helps you guys out. Make sure you guys click subscribe button because I'm going to Malaysia and Singapore and Korea. So I will be posting some vlogs. I will be doing, um, I brought my tripod with me. So if there is a comeback that I really like, I will definitely post a tutorial about that too. And then um, I will definitely vlog parts of my trip because we're gonna have lots of good food lots of amazing stuff to talk about. So make sure you guys hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you guys don't miss a video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.